Louis a goodie in a hoodie, baby. She golden this bitch. Ba -ba. Oh, I wanna taste this. I wanna hope it tastes good. Mm. Good job, Chick fil A. You taste it, baby? Mm. Get it. What do y'all get from Panera Bread? Like, I always get the same shit. I always get a cookie. Or, um, or I get the cinnamon roll. I earn some. Get your ass. Oh my God. Every time I get the cookie, I'm reminded why I don't get the cookie. The chocolate tastes like white people chocolate. Hmm. I should have got the cinnamon roll. What this I did? You got something you want to say, Hunter? Oh. My biggest thing right now is that I'm holding myself back, and this is just a real quick thing. I'm just holding myself back, like from a lot, like a lot of projects that I want to do. It's just a lot of things. Like I'm holding myself back. Um, I guess the main reason why is because I feel like I need support. It's like it's a difference between having love and having support or whatever. Like. I guess I feel, I always felt like I needed something or someone behind me because I don't really, I'm not, you know, I don't know, my credibility, you know what I'm saying? I don't have any degrees and I'm not that consistent with a lot of things. And this is just me and be, me, me being completely honest. It's like, I really don't know like which way, like I feel so lost in life right now and being 25, about to be 26, like it's just driving me into a depression. And, like, I literally, I can't even, like, fathom the words of how I feel right now. But I'm pretty sure, you know, I'm pretty sure someone knows how I'm feeling. I'm sorry, guys. I'm trying to fluff up my hair. I'm getting ready for work. But I pretty, I'm pretty sure someone knows how I'm feeling, bro. Like, I know I'm not the only one with this feeling. Like, so, you know, I wanted to do school or whatever just because... You know, I, I'm from a single mom, a single parent household. I'm from a single parent household. Let me turn this like this up, but she ain't got no. I'm from a single parent household. And you know what I'm saying? My mom, she don't have money to send me off to college. Or she don't have no money to like put behind us, like to say like for, you know what I'm saying? For a passion like dance or whether it be cosmetology or something like that. She don't have money to put behind me like that. You see what I'm saying? So it's like... <clears throat> college or the military or like me trying to brand off on the social media and shit would be my only three options because a nine to five just can't cut it for me you get what i'm saying like and it's not even it can't cut it for me in the ways of like i'm too good for it or too bougie for it but my work ethic for one is it speaks for itself and it's never you know it's always going to notice you know what i'm saying you don't got to give me a pat on my back but bitch give me a raise you know what i'm saying like I'm I'm good. I'm good. Like I'm legit good. So don't fucking play with me. I I got a you know what I'm saying like I, like I don't I got an attitude problem, but I know how to um control it. But I got this rest of bitch face, and um it's like I can't do school right now because. I can't do school right now because you know what I'm saying I'm in deferment. So I'm in debt with the freaking student loan people. I'm supposed to be getting ready for work for work. But I gotta get my toothbrush. I'm in debt with the student loan people <laughs> because um when I was going to school, I couldn't even I, I I couldn't even get a ride to class. You know what I'm saying? That was just you know one of many obstacles on top of me. You know what I'm saying? Like being unstable for school at the time. I just did it because I thought it was the only thing that I had. You know what I'm saying? So I did it when I didn't feel like it, and now that I feel like it, I done fucked myself up. You know, I'm, you do you get what I'm saying? So it's like I'm like I'm in shingles about that, and then um my license is suspended, and it's really fucked up and unfortunate, bro. Because my license is suspended. I I unfortunately I was with this dude, I was with this fucked up dude at the time. You know what I'm saying? And we would always fight. It would be some combative. Like it was real life. 
you know what I'm saying? Like, it was domestic violence, and even though I hate to be the victim, like, I was with a woman beater. Like, I was with a dude that didn't respect me, always put his hands on me, he was very misogynistic, very narcissistic. Like, he was, he was just the worst, bro, and I put up with it. I didn't put up with it for that long, but I put up with it, you know what I'm saying? And during a couple of months, and during the course of the time with me being with this dude, so much, like, so much, like, I lost all of my clothes i lost a bunch of um documents and keepsake and photos that meant a lot a lot a lot a lot, a lot, a lot to me like um it's just so much a lot of my you know what i'm saying my wardrobe and my shoes you know what i'm saying just things that i spent my heart and money on it's not that i'm materialistic but you know what i'm saying that caused me to start all over and it's hard to start all over when you're not your main priority isn't clothes your main priority isn't shoes you know what i'm saying like it's hard to start over but um with that being said like i got so many things that i be having on my mind and i just be feeling like it's so much it's so much it's so much it's so much because it's like with the license situation okay with the license situation like it's literally we were in his car, right? I'm from Savannah, Georgia. You know what I'm saying? So it's not much you could tell me about Savannah, Georgia that I don't really know about unless it's an area that I haven't been in. You know what I'm saying? So you could probably tell me a lot about that. But as far as, like, the rules and stipulations, I know that the folks be hot about everything. You know what I'm saying? They be ready to run you up, go off about anything. You know what I'm saying? So being at a park... At the hours, that's one of those things. And, you know what I'm saying? At the time, I was homeless. You know what I'm saying? At the time I was with this dude, I was homeless. You know what I'm saying? I was homeless. And we were staying in the car or whatever the case may be. And I'll just let you guys know that story a little later. But, like, homeless did strike me more than once. Homelessness did strike me more than once in my life. But it was all at the same period of time. You know what I'm saying? It's like I'd be homeless and I'd be good. And they'd be like, damn, I'm like, I just was good. You know what I'm saying? Like, like, around, like, for a whole year straight, I would say I was homeless. You know what I'm saying? So, we was in the, um, he wanted to go to a park at the hours and park at the park and go to sleep at the park. And I was like, no, no, that's not a good idea. Blah, 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 blah. But long story short, I'll make that a story time later. Long story short, the police came, my license, later on down the line, got suspended because of that. And it's real unfortunate because a lot of jobs that I'm qualified for, like a lot of clerical jobs, a lot of customer service jobs, you know, that you know will give you at least $12 and better. Front desk jobs, hotel front desk jobs, you know what I'm saying? Um, like I said, office administrator jobs. A lot of jobs that I'm qualified for, and that's on my resume, I can't even get because no matter what, They'll freaking background check you. You know what I'm saying? So, so it's like in a way I feel real stuck. Um, yeah, I got my own spot. You know what I'm saying? I got a little part time gig that's willing to work with me when I get, you know what I'm saying, a job in the career fair that I'm aiming towards, which is a product. I got a job in. I got a job as a production assistant. No, so everything is not all bad. I got a job as a production assistant working in Savannah. So I've been going back to my hometown, which I don't stay there anymore. I've been going back there to work on that, which is, I'm stoked about it because it's a brand new experience for me. I've been on set before as an extra, but never as a production assistant. So maybe I'll get more credibility and get, on, get what I'm saying. But it's just like... I don't have a car, so I'm really freestyling. And I'm getting discouraged as they come closer and closer and closer because I got extras that I'm on top of. So I'm on the business side of things, making sure that all my people show up to work. And at the last minute, I'm texting out RSVPs and call times and, you know, fitting times, and no one's hitting me back. You know what I'm saying? Like, not no one, but like 50% of my extras or my crew that I need is not hitting me back. So it's real frustrating. And it's like, 
a stress topper, but I'm trying to, trying to, trying to, trying to hold on. I'm trying to, trying to, trying to stay consistent with this YouTube thing so that I can just have something that I, you know, know that I was consistent on, that I have documented something that cause I can use to mark my journey, my growth. So, with that being said, I really don't care who has an interest in watching me, you know what I'm saying, and watching me grow. You know what I'm saying? Watching me flourish. I really don't care who have the interest because I'm going to still post. I'm going to still do me and be me regardless. I just do get discouraged sometimes and along the way. <laughs> As we all do. You know what I'm saying? But I might have finished getting ready for work. I'm really talking y'all head off, talking my shit off. But I'm really, I just really was just, I just was really bending. I was just really trying to bend or whatever case. Yeah, I'm probably gonna go ahead and no, I'll take y'all to work with me. Period. What's up, y'all? I don't know if I told y'all not, but this is October day five. <laughs> yep, but um, I'm trying to catch up, trying to catch up. What's this is October day six? <laughs> I don't know. We'll see when we edit. We'll see what we got. See what we got. I forgot to wear my crows. Oh well, but yeah, uh -uh. I'm on my way to work. I hate when I forget my cross from my Apple Watch because I be playing with them when I be at the register looking stupid. You know what I'm saying? The Apple Watch is real good for me to play with because they be trying to say, Oh, you can't be on the phone, can't be on the phone. Girl, shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. Well, shout out out this bitch. Let me cover this up. It's like, I don't know. But, geez. Head out. <laughs> oh, my head did not look like this when I first got here. And now it's looking like this. <sighs> Ooh, I don't know if I'm liking the head. That made me look a bit obnoxious. Let me see how this thing. <sighs> I think I like it better without the head. But y'all, <laughs> today was just a real, I don't know, slow day. The depression crept up on me real quick. But you know, that's what, that's any, that's just like an all time, like, what am I trying to say? That's, that's a, that's a, a depression is a feeling that literally anyone can experience. So I like to try to do shit to get out the phone instead of, the, instead of trying to keep myself in the fucking funk, so stay tuned to see what the fuck I do to get myself out of this funk. Cause I'm. <laughs> <laughs>